Sri Varaprasad Rao, five minutes, please, very briefly. Sir, then you can give so much time to others. No, five. Five minutes, were, please. Sir, thank you very much, sir. Five minutes. No, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, this we appreciate these additional demands of grants, sir, uh, mostly for urea freight subsidy, national highways, Narega electricity. It's the most welcome one, sir. But no, I have no, just a minute. issues with regard uh, Just a minute. This is a financial supplementary budget we are discussing. Uh, many members, if they want to sub uh, place on the table return speeches that be allowed, you can give the speech, uh, return speeches. That can. Yeah. Okay, you can continue. Since the Honorable Minister of Finance is here. Sir, with regard to the implementation of the Narega, I have a small issue, sir. Earlier I worked as a district collector. And now, Thanks to the people, now, the uh, last three and a half years, I'm able to visit the almost 1,300 villages and closely observing the implementation of Narega. One, the funds are not, not released on time, but we appreciate maybe certain difficulties. The second one, sir, the waste component principle is not being followed. So we request the government of India to insist, otherwise the very spirit of the Narega program is lost if the rural employment is not generated. Because in the villages when I visit, literally the people, particularly the vulnerable sections of SC, ST, BC, they are begging for employment, day-to-day -day employment. So what I suggest is, perhaps take it out of the purview of the state government and implement through the district administration. Because those norms could be followed scrupulously. That is the waste component. Otherwise, the poor is badly getting affected and the spirit is lost. And next, sir, this government has promised as much as this 3.5 crore houses. I met to see a reasonable development of construction of houses in my constituency for the last three and a half years. So I feel that whatever has been mentioned in the earlier budgets as well as the manifesto, they're supposed to honor those commitments and respect the sentiments of the people. So the house, and while sanctioning the houses by the government of India, sir, we plead the government, please involve the local we MPs. Parties, because the state governments, we have doubt, some of us, that is not being given on the genuine cases. So I request, sir, to kindly consider to take the, con to take the MPs into confidence while implementing this. Sir, so the GDP, no doubt, the recent surveys say that, so there is a boost in the GDP from 7.2 to 7.7. .7. But most of us have missed the point. All it said was the reason for boosting up of GDP is not because of any private investment. It is mostly because of the public investment by the government because it has infused as much as 2.11 lakh crores, 1, 1 crores. And secondly, there is also no employment. So there is no meaning if we say that the GDP is increased, but there is no private investment and no employment is generated. And mostly the private consumption has increased. So therefore, honorable Finance Minister, very scholarly, very practical person, very knowledgeable, sir. Please look at this aspect where the GDP, by mere increase of GDP, it doesn't percolate the state wealth down to the bottom of the people. So therefore, the Narega, the funds may be increased and effective implementation is also very much required. Sir, you also have promised, the government has promised the doubling of the farm income and it's almost three and a half years is over <coughs> and issued period is only another one year and four months so we yet to see a tangible improvement as far as the doubling okay, okay please oh, no, sir, no. Hmm. i had to come sir hmm. sir we also request to withdraw the financial resolution and insurance deposit scheme the bill is going to affect the small savers and the third most important thing, sir, the NPA is reaching the alarming figures of 16 lakh crores, sir. Whereas the farming sector of the agriculture, the total credit is only after 4 to 5 lakh crores. And it's only 2 to 3 point percent of the GDP 
Whereas, and few entrepreneurs, the companies are enjoying 16 lakh crores as NPAs that okay. needs to be attended to. So the most important, which I want to come to the state reorganization of Andhra Pradesh, sir, the Dugaraj Patanam has been promised and it's supposed to be completed by 2018. I don't see the reason why the state government is not giving the consent. The central government may give some pressure so that what has been promised to the people, there are three assembly constituencies badly affected, sir, Sulur Pet, Gudur, and, uh, uh, okay. and Sarvepalli. Right, so we right. request that that should be implemented, sir. The next is the special status, although we earlier speakers have mentioned yes, that right. the special status, unless it is given, the industrialization cannot take place, and job, last two, three points, sir, and okay. job creation cannot be done. Mm. And the Polvarum project has been promised, so kindly, this, the escalation has gone up from 16,000 crores to almost 58,000 crores, sir. And it's supposed to be completed by, sir, sorry, so you, right. to, uh, no, supposed to be completed by 2018. Hmm. So the state, the state people are looking up to the central government to complete that. Right. Another few points, sir, the steel plant supposed to come up at Kadapa, already three and a half years is over, so we request the government of India to complete that. Similarly, the railway zone and the petrochemical complex in Vizak, and the most important thing, sir, the only thing that is really going into the development of villages, sir, the MP lads, sir, may I have this, may I request the Honorable Finance Minister, sir, if uh, MP lads are increased, the rural villages schemes could also be increased. We literally request them to increase, increase the MP lads so that the small MPs like us could be benefited. When we go to the villages, we are not able to give anything to the people. Kindly consider that, sir. And the last but not the least is, we have a very prestigious dredging corporation of India in Vizag. So it is likely to be privatized. So people and employees are literally scared. Perhaps the Honorable Minister of Finance could consider oh, oh. cancelling hmm. of that idea of privatization of dredging right. corporation of India, Vizag. Thank Dr. you so Baba. much, sir. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you. Very briefly, please. Huh?